Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, April 27th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So this is just because this is a reading dated for the 27th of April, it does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate with you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't yeah i hope you guys had a really good a good weekend um fairly uneventful for me which is pretty good pretty good i can't not gonna lie i can't complain um yeah i don't really have anything to start with other than that so without further ado let's just get to it yeah here we go Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved for our Monday, April 27th, 2020. <sighs> Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're gonna give this three shuffles and then we'll see what comes up for today. Monday, April 27th, 2020. General reading. What, what's going on in the energy today, Spirit? What would you like to discuss with us today? All right, here we go. Monday, April 27th, 2020. Monday, April 27th, Nine of Wands. All right, um, I'm getting a feeling that Queen of Wands, okay. Wow, there are a lot of wands going on here. All right, so interestingly enough, um, I feel like uh, with this nine of spring or nine of wands energy here, I feel like there's something that you guys are really persevering towards, but also I feel like it's getting hard to not give up or to not give in in some way. You have that with the ten of wands, okay? You also have that with the queen of wands. So it's like you've been working on something... Uh, and I'm going to be honest with you, this quarantine might be what we're talking about here. <laughs> it's just because it feels like, you know, right now there you have the, you have things that you want. You have things that you're working on being in the alignment. Okay, you're working. Oh, please, please, please disregard the manicure. I haven't left the house. I need more cotton swabs so I can redo it. And I just don't feel like leaving the house. I'm sure you guys understand why, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, with the Queen of Wands here, it's like you're you're working on being in alignment. You've been in alignment, but it's like when is this going to pay off? When is it going to give something back? Five of Pentacles, okay. Oh, there's the Six of Wands, okay. And then the King of Swords, okay. Here's the deal, you guys. Um oh you guys you can't really see it. Let me switch it. So the reason why you are feeling as if you might want to give up, like it's too hard, blah, blah, blah. It's the five of pentacles energy, feeling left out in the cold, feeling rejected. Um, I can totally, I can totally vibe with this. You know, uh, I have things that I'm trying to do with my life too, but I, I'm, it's all being on, literally everything is put on hold right now. And we have no idea, really, we have no real idea as to when everything is going to start, when the world is going to start working again. And we're all pretty sure that once things you know, start to lighten up and we're out of lockdown and social distancing and all that, things are still not going to be the same. Okay. So there's definitely a level of uncertainty here with the nine of wands and the 10 of wands. And it does feel like 
just with those just with the top three nine of nine ten and queen of wands it does feel like there's as if there's a breaking point that's approaching or at least you feel like you can't go on much longer it's like you were already at this nine of wands state persevering yes but battered and bruised the nine of wands is a wounded warrior card the nine of wands often represents you know feeling like you absolutely can't go any further and yet you still keep going well you were already at that state and then that last wand was thrown on your back and now you're at the ten of wands but you're still persevering that's the thing i do feel like you're still persevering here but there is a level of of inadequacy or feeling inadequate or feeling like you can't necessarily keep going um or feeling like you're being left out in some way or that you know things are just too hard and you don't understand why things why this is happening but here's the thing you guys you have the six of wands here okay with the queen of oh, i'm sorry the king of swords so that's in relation to this five of wands energy coupled with this nine of i'm sorry five of pentacles energy coupled with this nine of wands energy it's really asking you to look at things as clearly as you possibly can because what i don't think you realize here is that you do in fact have a victory you're victorious over this situation anyway and that has everything to do with your alignment okay at the bottom of the deck we ooh, so there's the five of swords at the bottom of the deck um but in this case this five of swords does feel like self-sabotage i honestly really want to tell you to just try and get through this period as much as you possibly can in the best way that you possibly can like don't beat yourself up it's been like okay so with this five of pentacles if you have like say fallen out of some sort of regimen or some sort of discipline or something that you've just been keeping up with for a while don't beat yourself up about it you're not inadequate you're not a bad person you probably just need a break or right now that just isn't vibing with your energy maybe there are some other things that you need to be focusing on instead you know um, and I feel like that is very materialistic. So maybe you used, you were working out for a while and you stopped doing that. Maybe you had a, a, a meditation regimen that you were doing for a while, but you stopped doing that. It just feels like this five of pentacles feels like an energy of you've like fallen off the bus or something like that. Or, you know, in some, you gotten, you're off the bus somehow. Um, and yet you're not really. I kind of would want to ask you or advise you to like take this time to just take in what's around you. Maybe you just need a change of scenery. Maybe you just need a change of progress or I'm sorry, a process, a change of process somehow. I mean, I, I, don't beat yourself up about what it is you're facing in terms of getting through this energy. Okay. Allow yourself the freedom to take things as they come and to handle them accordingly. So if that means that your process or your, the way your life is running or something like that needs to change temporarily, then allow it to change temporarily. Okay, don't, don't beat yourself up about it. Don't stab yourself in the back. This King of Swords is really asking you to, to, to keep a, a, a keen eye on what the truth of the situation is. Okay, like, okay, let's talk about it this way. Say you've fallen off of a, an exercise regimen, right? Okay, well, as long as, you know, you're not sinking into ill health, then why exactly do you have to be, I mean, I'm playing devil's advocate here, but like, let's, let's be really honest. If you miss a day, if you miss a, a moment, why, okay, maybe you're missing a few moments. Okay, whatever. But uh, with this King of Swords, <laughs> with this King of Swords energy, I just feel like you need to really look at what's going on around you. Maybe even what, I, maybe even look at what it is you have to deal with right now, and be honest with yourself about it. Be honest with yourself about your process, and lighten up on yourself a little bit. Like, I even though this King of Swords also often represents the judge i feel like this guy is coming through to try and give you a little bit of mercy here it's like let's be real with ourselves right now <laughs> look at the circumstances you're facing maybe you should lighten up on yourself a little bit okay but then there's also that that pesky little detail of like when are we going to get through this and that's where even more of this five of swords energy is kind of coming through and you're sabotaging yourself it's like look First of all, spirit's not really working on the same time frame as we are, all right? That's a, a human-made, man-made construct. 
All right, so you're gonna drive yourself crazy trying to say, okay, well, when is this gonna end? Um, and yet with me saying that, it's like, I still wanna give you guys some sort of relief in terms of that. I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna pull more on it, but I don't. I mean, let's just let's just move forward then. Um, I wanna look at this nine of spring. Well, you know what, nine and 10 of spring. Nine and 10 of spring, which is also the nine and 10 of wands. And you might be really fired up about this. You might be feeling really passionate about this. You might be really wanting to move forward, but there's too much of a burden right now. There's too many other things standing in the way. There are too many obstacles standing in the way. So why beat yourself up about the fact that you have these obstacles standing in your way that you never even put there to begin with? I mean, this is so much more than just, oops, I made a wrong turn and now I have to deal with all these other obstacles. No, this is like a full economic shutdown. Like a full, the whole world is kind of like, you know what I mean? So it's like you, you can't, you can't hold that over your head. You can't blame yourself for that. One last shuffle. And then we're going to look at why the nine and the ten of spring are here for you. Okie dokie. All right, nine and ten of spring here. What is this spirit? Mm. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Swords in reverse. Okay, Queen of Cups. All right, you're all up in your emotions. Seven of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Three of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. What the Three of Cups just said to me was, um, this is a time for celebration. This is a time for basically for partying, for enjoying yourself. Okay, obviously not partying. We can't go out to the bar and have a bunch of drinks. We can't We can't invite a bunch of our friends over and, and have a... I mean, maybe you could um, if you got your social distancing, you know, under... I mean, but like, whatever. Like, screw that. N not screw that, but at the same time, it's like... Whatever. You get what I'm saying. It's like, this is a time for... What I'm getting with this Three of Cups is enjoy yourself as much as you can. Do what it is that you can to, to, to help yourself get through this, okay? You have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Wands now in reverse and the Knight of Swords in reverse. I feel like you guys are being way too hard on yourselves, okay? Seven of Pentacles in reverse is saying to me that you're not necessarily finding, things aren't coming necessarily coming to fruition but I keep wanting to say that they're not coming to, through to fruition the way that you wanted them to or the way that you expected them to. And now that's throwing you for a frenzy. It's making you feel like you're out of alignment, like you're not doing the right thing, like like you're failing in some way. And then here's this this Knight of Swords energy, which is in reverse. Um, and normally even the, the Knight of Swords, when it's upright, can seem like a shoot first, ask questions later energy to me. And I just get this energy that you're, you're in this, you're slipping into this mindset of just like, screw it all. Let's just let's forget it all and throw it out. Like, throw it out. Forget it. Forget it. I'm not doing it right. It's not happening. I'm not doing it anyway. So just like whatever, forget it. But you're in, in that case, you're cutting off your nose to spite your face. Okay. That's illusionary seven of swords because you're all up in your emotions about it. Now, here's the thing what the queen of cups is saying is, yes, you're feeling quite emotional about it. There's no reason to ignore your emotions. Okay, explore this. If you're feeling really emotional, take the time to explore through it, to sit through it, to feel through it, to work on balancing it out. Because it's 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 this reason, the Queen of Cups, why you're like here, the Queen of Wands in reverse, feeling like you're out of alignment, or maybe even you are out of alignment. But you're only out of alignment because you're not taking the time to really explore your emotions and feel through what this is bringing up for you. This Queen of Cups upright is a good thing. Yes, she is sitting here representing some pretty um, unpleasant emotional reality. Okay, that's fine. But what she's also saying here is you have a right to take your time to, to, to express yourself through it or to, to feel through it. Okay. 
Otherwise, you're just deceiving yourself, Seven of Swords. Now you have the Six of Cups and the Six of Pentacles here. And I guess and what I just heard with this is give, give yourself some time to give back to yourself. Six of Pentacles is, well, both of these sixes really are, do, they do represent reciprocity. One monetarily, the other emotionally. But I just, I'm hearing, give to yourself here. Give to yourself. Allow yourself some time for enjoyment. I mean, we have so much time on our hands right now, don't we? Unless you're an, you're, you're, you're an emergency worker, in which case, or I'm yeah, an emergency worker or like an essential worker right now, in which case, like, my heart goes out to you. Thank you so much for your service. For the most part, though, many of us are just kind of sitting around here twiddling our thumbs and it's starting to wear on us. I get it. No, I totally get it. I, I understand this energy. I mean, I've kind of been here myself, you know, lockdown hasn't been so bad for me, but it's just a matter of like, I can't do the normal things that I would normally do in life, even though I love, I, I, <laughs> I live in quarantine anyway, you know, um, I just heard, allow yourself some reciprocity. I just get this feeling that whomever this reading is for, you're being extremely hard on yourself here. Okay, and it, all right, so let's let's move forward here because now I'm being pulled to this King of Swords energy and I was going to say, in other circumstances, maybe this King of Swords would be that hard-ass energy that's try that's kind of like, you know, reading you the riot act because things aren't up to snuff but and actually that could that could very well be what this is for you i mean even though the advice here is the king of swords is like saying to you it's like look be easy on yourself see things as clearly as they as they truly are maybe you're having trouble seeing the victory in all of this with this king of swords energy let's look at that what's the king of swords here seven of cups in reverse Hierophant, Eight of Swords, and the love. Oh, geez, the lovers. Interesting. Ace of Swords, though. Okay. Um. All right, this just got this just got um, divine counterparty. This just got this just got twin flamey. Um, but you know what this is saying here: Eight of Swords, the Lovers, the Hierophant, Seven of Cups in Reverse, with the Ace of Swords upright. In terms of the King of Swords here, what this is saying to you is: you know the truth. Like there's literally no space for any sort of illusion or confusion at this point. And what I'm feeling here is you're understanding that whomever the, the I mean, I know this is a general reading, but specifically, this feels d divine counterparty. <laughs> okay, so you know for a fact, Ace of Swords, that whomever your divine counterpart is, is trapped up in this Hierophant energy. Like, there's literally no space for you to question that any longer. Seven of Cups is in reverse. I... Uh, but what I also want to do, I want to look at what this lover's card is then. I'm going to go to a different deck and even, especially, I'm, uh, use this one. Oh gosh, now I'm getting indecisive. Um, I'm going to stay here. Lovers, why is the lovers here? Ten of cups, come on. But I was also picking up that this is a choice here, and that's why I want to look into this, because I'm trying to see what this is more than just... Yeah, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. See, okay, that's exactly what I thought. All right. So what I was picking up with the lovers here was that this was also a choice that somebody has made. <clears throat> and what I'm seeing here, there are two different... There are two people here. One is in the lover's state. One is by with the hierophant. And you see, justice is... is <laughs> Justice fell out in reverse on the Hierophant. All right, so look. 
and, but the, but the, but with the lovers here, we have the ten of cups, the eight of pentacles, and the fool. Look, I, it's funny. I don't I don't know how many different ways we can spin all of this, but I'm just gonna keep reading it because if it's gonna resonate with someone, someone's gonna get the message, and when they, whenever they need it, so it's okay. But whomever is represented by the lovers here, who who I feel like is the main person of this reading, whomever is in this nine of wands, ten of ten of wands, queen of wands, all that energy, right? And we're not talking gender, we're talking energy. It could be a man or a woman as this queen of wands. It doesn't matter. But ultimately this person here has made a decision that is better for them because they understand that whomever it is they are disconnecting from, they're moving away from, they've gotten clarity from is trapped here for some reason i guess you could call it trapped i mean it doesn't really feel like they're trapped it feels like they are they've made their own choice which okay which i'm, I'm hearing would legally bind them all right but they, maybe it's not legal maybe it's some sort of sense of duty here but look that's funny because we have justice in reverse here all right so either way whomever is in this hierophant energy is basically getting the shit end of the stick but why the Eight of Swords is here is because there is no choice other than, at this point, there's no choice. Or at least both of you are feeling like there's no choice here. But the thing about it is, like, it's very clear what the situation is. Seven of Cups is in reverse. The Ace of Swords was at the bottom of the deck right after that. So it's like... The decision, I just heard the decision is clear. The best decision to make is clear. And it looks like somebody has made it because they're focused on their Ten of Cups. This Queen of Wands energy. You're focused on your Ten of Cups. You're doing the work that you need to do to get to that Ten of Cups. Or at least you've done that work. And that work includes taking a leap of faith and leaving the past behind. So, okay, I guess I see what the Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups energy represents. Because that's what you're moving towards. And you have the world here. The situation is closed out. Or at least this energetic cycle between you and whomever it is you're dealing with is closing out. And I feel like the world the world energy is this time period we have here of this economic shutdown where everything is just coming to a grinding halt. Because there are energies that need to be flushed. There are energies that need to be flushed. This was all clarifying this King of Swords energy. So think about it this way, guys. What the King of Swords is saying, which I'm glad it's saying this, it's saying the former, not the latter. The former being that the King of Swords is asking you to be objective with this as possible. Like, go easy on yourself. Go easy on yourself. Okay? Because you do have a victory here. But, you're like, but this sense of inadequacy and the energetic surroundings right now is making it very hard for you to consciously accept this at this point. Maybe you felt like, well, once I made this decision, I was just going to be able to take this leap of faith and everything would just flow smoothly. And maybe under normal circumstances, it would have. But again, King of Swords, look at what's going on around us right now. I keep hearing economic downturn or economic shutdown or the, the world is just kind of on pause at the moment, right? You can't hold your you can't hold that against yourself. It's not like you single handedly pushed a button and now the whole world is shut down. I mean like come on. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> you know. You can't blame yourself for that. And you can't hold yourself accountable for what's uh, a per you can't hold yourself personally one hundred percent accountable for what is that, what what's happening around the world. You know what I mean? And that's mainly because this is a joint effort, y'all. We all got here together, okay? No one single-handedly put us in this position, okay? I'm curious. So let's look at what the Six of Spring or Six of Wands is here for you. Because it says, wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. And I, the, smart, the strongest thing that's... that's um, um, coming through with this for me is smart choices that bring rewards. It's just that maybe those rewards are on a little bit of delay right now. It's on pause. Everything is on pause right now. Let's get this Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here, please, Spirit? Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. The Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. Yeah, but the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse because things are on pause. Death. 
with the page of cups it's like you have this you have an i'm hearing an interim period so you have a time period right now where like the pause button has been pushed things are falling away you have a time this is your time right now to really dream page of cups with the knight of wands upright at the bottom of the deck this is a time for you to dream i keep hearing set your set the record straight If you can't do anything else, if there's no action to be taken, if the world is on pause, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, because things are dying away, things are falling away, transformation is happening on a major, major, major scale, on a huge worldwide collective scale, then maybe right now there's nothing to do but dream. And that's okay. Let's, um, that's okay. See, we are so wrapped up in this whole do, 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 go, 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 hustle, 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 rah, 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 that we forget about the alignment. And now is a perfect time to work on that alignment. Now is a perfect time to put that extra focus on your alignment, because what do you really have to do right now? Like what? Again, I'm, I, I'm not saying, okay, there are a lot of people that are still working right now. That's great. There are a number of people that are um, essential workers right now. That's great. I hesitate to say that because it's like you're literally throwing yourselves into the fire for us. And I, we couldn't be any more grateful. But whether, that, whether that's actually great or not is subjective. Okay. <laughs> And I'm, tr I'm trying to lighten the mood here a little bit. I'm not making fun of your circumstances. I'm just, I'm just saying. But then for the rest of us that are kind of like cooped up at home here, it's like, what do you actually have to do right now? Not a damn thing. Well, I don't want to let myself go. Blah, blah, blah. Um, maybe you should let yourself go for a little bit. Maybe you should just like love yourself enough to say, you know what? I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to daydream for the whole day. Why not? What's wrong with that? I want to look. F I want to look deeper into this page of cups energy, please. Four of wands with the hermit. Now is the time to sit at home and let your imagination run free. But they, but there you go. There's that five of oh, goodness gracious, guys, with the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. Look. You have a choice to make. I know you've already made a choice, but you have another one. You can either bemoan, rant and rave, and make things easy, harder for yourself, or you can make things easier for yourself and throw out this this crazy in in uh, um, internal conflict out the window, and just take this time to just focus on you. Focus on being within, going within. Understanding the nature of your reality right now. If you're feeling a lot of crazy stuff, then explore it. Feel through it. Investigate. What I'm, I'm Four of Wands is saying to, is speaking to it actually, at this point, the Four of Wands is speaking to like your home, your space. You literally have the space and the time to focus within right now. And so, okay, maybe this is a message for those of you that have kind of been using, um, you know, everyday life as an excuse to not go within. And at this point, you're, you're not recognizing the fact that you have the opportunity to really find some serious victory. Okay, but maybe with this nine of swords, I'm sorry, nine of wands, ten of wands energy, you are focusing too much on the burden or creating more burden for yourself when all you really need to do is just sit back and meditate i yeah for some of you this is like your worst nightmare um there was a grandfather a patriarch in your family that was very goal oriented and would not let basically would not let anyone rest 
you know, it, it, it's, it's, it, <laughs> I'm feeling an energy of something that, you know, we say in the restaurant industry, if you have time to lean, then you have time to clean. Well, this person t really took it to an extreme and like wouldn't let up on anybody. The moment you had, you had downtime, here they come trying to tell you to do this, that, the, and the third. This doesn't have to be a man. However, I am feeling a patriarch. I'm hearing a patriarch of the family. A leader. Someone that was a doer, a go-getter, but maybe to an extreme. And now you're facing the exact opposite of it. And it feels like you're getting triggered by this. Okay, this makes perfect sense. But, but it's as if this last wand was placed on your back and you're struggling, 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 trying to carry everything. Ten of spring or ten of wands. While wow, you were already at this nine of wands energy. But now this last wand has been placed on your back and you're trying and trying and trying. But you see, here's the thing. You feel like you're, gonna, you're about to break. That's the point. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's the point. Spirit put this here or this has been placed on you so that all of this stuff that you've been holding on to Can finally break and you can be free of it and then you can really start to to get to the bottom of everything It's the straw that broke the the, the straw that broke the camel's back absolutely But it was meant to stop you It wasn't meant to break your back. It's not going to break your back, but it is going to break this. Mm, we'll say break these chains. Break this process for you. Maybe so that you can really start to face your emotions here, Queen of Cups, and really start to work on finding that emotional balance. There are some things that I feel like you've been running away from that you've been needing to face at a long time for a long time but see this is how kind of how perfect <laughs> this is kind of how perfect the universe works because ultimately this was taken into account already and actually you're right you're right where you need to be par for the course is what i'm hearing <laughs> all right so um i want to get some uh, Closing guidance for you, moving forward here, and then we'll get your oracle, which I'm not sure where it's going to come from yet. Oops. All right. So, closing guidance here, please, Spirit. How do you want to leave this? Last shuffle. Here we go. <laughs> That's funny because I was seeing justice in my head, but then I was like, no, justice is right there. That's why I'm seeing it. But no, nope, here it is. <laughs> justice again. Uh, the high priestess. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, the High Refund, and the Six of Cups in reverse. Wow, with the lovers again. This keeps being, I mean, we keep going back to like love or, or twin flame dynamic or, um, it doesn't have to be that way, of course. But what basically what spirit is saying here is justice has been served and you may not be able to understand exactly why justice is being served right now because there is a much higher point of view here. But in, in terms of that, because, OK, we have justice and the high priestess, but also in terms of that, the high priestess is saying you don't need to know everything. You don't need to know all of the answers. You don't need to know all of the minute details, but you do have an understanding that justice has been served here. Maintain your boundaries because there is swift movement. There could be swift movement for you right now. You could have an open air space to really make some emotional, strong emotional change, really change your momentum in that way, change your direction in that way. But or it could very much be when everything kind of lets up and the, you know, the world can kind of go back to work or can kind of come out of this hibernation, I guess, stage, I guess we could say there's going to be quite very strong, quick, speedy 
clear movement. Okay, but it's this <clears throat> hierophant energies, it's the status quo, it's the social conformity, it's all of that stuff that has made something from your past incompatible with you. But that was the point all along. I, I think the point that whomever, whomever is resonating the most for this reading, whomever this reading is meant for, I think the point is that you're missing, you're consciously missing the opportunity that this shutdown is really providing a lot of us, or all of us. And I know that's hard to see, but this is really giving us a chance to let things fall away that no longer align with us. Lovers is at the bottom of the deck now. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. So you have, and there's the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, okay. So, with the lovers being at the bottom of the deck, this is talking about the choice that you've made. Your higher self, you, you, something that's much better for you. I feel like I'm rambling. I, I feel like I'm not really getting the message <laughs> across, but I'm hearing also, no, it's clear. For whomever is needing it, it's clear. Okay. You've made the right decision. We keep saying this. You've made the right decision. But this whole economic downturn situation is really making, is really, egos are flaring. It's triggering a lot. You don't have to worry about this. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and close this out. Dragons. Okay. Actually, no. We're going to go to the mermaids. Magical mermaids and dolphins. To close this out. get a closing message please spirit <clears throat> and I really just want to get you some reassurance here all right uh, closing message please spirit for this reading closing closing message Closing message, please, spirit. There it is. Ah! There, oh my god, that's so funny. Because I used this deck for the Twin Flame reading yesterday, and this came out for the Divine Feminine, but here you go. Helpful person. Someone wants to help you. Think of whom that might be, and initiate contra contact. So, ask for help from spirit. For sure. Let's read this. Let's read this. Ah, there it is. There's a person who can, who can help you reach your desired outcome. You've probably already thought of whom this person might be, or it could be a new person coming into your life whom you'll soon meet. Be open to receiving help from others. Strong people learn the importance of delegating and working as a team, and this may be a time for you to learn these vital life lessons. So, be sure to voice your needs and ask for assistance. With the help of others, you are more able to manifest your divine purpose and desires. But this is definitely a message to ask for help from spirit. You don't have to go this alone. For sure, you don't have to do this alone. But also, there could be very, there could very well be some individual that could help you in your life. That you know, an individual person that would be able to help you here, and that even that could even be a therapist. Like, who knows? Maybe it's me. I don't know. You know, follow your intuition there. All right. Well, that's. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading, or our next cup of coffee, tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!